Hey everyone, Sivan here from House. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your House Pro account settings. To start off, you're simply going to click in the top right hand corner where it says your house and go ahead and select House Pro settings. This will take you to a screen where you can manage all of the different settings related to your House Pro account. First and foremost, I'm going to dive into the account settings. By clicking into the account settings, you'll be able to set up everything related to your business and how you wish to position yourself in your collaboration with your clients. This also relates specifically to how you wish to uh, handle everything related to your manage account. So under account information here, you'll be able to upload a profile photo. You'll also be able to upload your company logo. This will appear on all of your documents that you sent to clients going forward and any information related to your company and business. Under the Payments tab, you'll be able to set up your payment information to receive direct deposits through any online payments that you receive from clients. So all you need to do is go through the flow over here under Payments, and it's really easy to set up. Under Team and Rates, you'll be able to add any team members that you wish to access the Business Management Solution, Ivy. Uh, they, all you need to do is click on add team member, enter your team members details and all of the corresponding permissions that you wish for them to have. This is broken down by client facing. So you'll have your invoices and proposals and vendor facing purchase orders. And you can define exactly what each person has the ability to see and do within your account. Next, you can set up uh, different rates for them. This is specifically relating to the time billing. So if you are going to be billing hourly or recording the hours that your employees are working or that you are working, you can go ahead and create different service types and set a rate that will be visible when you log all of your time and expenses. Under sales tax, you'll be able to set default tax settings for your entire account. So do you charge tax on products and services? By default, these will be checked on. You can go ahead and change that and always override it on an individual product and service level. And you can also define and create frequently used sales tax rates for you to select from a drop down menu going forward. Under your settings over here, these will appear on all of your projects and documents going forward. Uh, this is really where you want to define how you are positioning yourself to your clients going forward. And you can always override this on the project level as well as on the individual document level. Here you'll see a couple of examples that I've set for my proposal memos, my invoice memos, and my purchase order memos. And these can include your terms and conditions, any specific terms that you wish your client to see. And when you send your emails through House Pro, you'll be able to also define what those emails actually look like. Over here under project settings, you can define whether you wish to allow progressive invoicing. Uh, and this is a setting that you have to opt into. And you can also select whether you wish to send automated payment reminder emails to your clients for past due payments and documents. Under addresses, this is where you'll be able to define any frequently used addresses. So if you are working with a receiving warehouse or a manufacturing warehouse, you can go ahead and set up your address book over here. And this will make it really easy to select your addresses on your purchase orders and projects from a drop down menu going forward. And if you are going to be integrating with QuickBooks Online, you can go ahead and click into the QuickBooks tab watch this video and do everything that you need to do within uh, this specific tab. But I won't be diving into that today. Now let me go ahead and go back to my House Pro settings here. You also have a couple different settings within your House Pro settings here. You have the ability to edit everything related to your house profile. So by clicking into it, you'll be able to select and update all of the information here. You can also change your billing method associated with your House Pro account. You can manage your subscription and see everything related to your subscription by clicking into subscriptions. And you can also integrate your calendar 
with House Pro in order to be able to schedule video consultations and meetings directly from your house profile to any leads that you are receiving through House Pro. So all you need to do is um, integrate your calendar by following the steps over here. Uh, and you can always define exactly what your custom availability is on this page as well. Now with that, I hope that you are able to go ahead and give it a try. Uh, be sure to check out our other tutorials to learn all about the great project management tools House Pro has to offer. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. We're happy to help.